Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead and back for supper. So tonight I'm making something I've never made before and it didn't give full measurements so I'm just going to guesstimate. I kind of like went between a couple different recipes and we're just going to guesstimate. <laughs> so I'm going to make cabbage steak pizzas. So I bought this cabbage last week up at the Amish store. So I am going to make this into cabbage steaks. So we want them about one inch slices. Try not to break it apart if you can. And then I'm gonna put it over here on my baking pan. I asked Jack if he wanted to try it and he's like, no. <laughs> so, he won't be trying it tonight. And Tom doesn't have to work any overtime this weekend, so we don't have to have leftovers for dinner or lunch tomorrow either. Then I'm going to take just the end off of this one and put that over there too. Alrighty. Now I have my oven preheating at 375 and Let's get this put together. All right, first of all, I don't know how much olive oil to use, so I'm just gonna pour some in there. Because we gotta have enough to brush them off. And then I'm gonna use, I think, a heaping teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm going to use a heaping teaspoon of garlic powder. Now, you can change it to whatever you want. This is just me guesstimating. <laughs> and then I'm going to use two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. And hopefully this is enough to cover them. If not, we'll have to do some more. <laughs> Move my knife out of the way before I end up cutting myself. And we're going to get that all mixed together. I think this is going to be awesome. Tom's not too excited because he's not a cabbage fan. But I told him... You know what? You never know until you try something. And we don't. I mean, we've tried different things and we ended up liking them. So who knows? This could be one of them. So we're going to brush that on the whole cabbage. And like I say, if you want to use different, you know, spices, you can do that too. If you want to make it spicier, add some red chili flakes. Um red pepper flakes I should say whatever you want to do I seen one that said add oregano and everything so I figured kind of everything in that one was in Italian seasoning so we're gonna flip those over because we want to do both sides try to keep it together as good as you can <laughs> I've never been a cabbage person myself so this is kind of new, but when in Rome, try different things, right? And that's what I'm trying to do. Not necessarily if it's healthier or whatever, but just kind of trying to broad, broaden my horizons as well with different things to try. A little bit more right there. No point in wasting it. So now you're going to put it in that 375 degree oven for 30 minutes. You don't have to flip it or anything. I figured while I'm waiting for that, I've got that one head of lettuce that I need to use up too. So I thought, why not? make up some salad. I'm going to 
put it in this bowl. My other bowl, I'm going to chop up a watermelon I got today. I got one for $4.99, so I figured why not. And I've actually heard that watermelon is good for um, diabetes and a few other things, actually. So, and I happen to love watermelon, so that's a good thing. Watermelon's been my favorite since I was a kid. I could eat it every day, actually. All day long. <laughs> and I don't think I'd grow weary of it either. That's what's weird. Alright, so we got that. Just poured some lettuce on the floor, too. Tell you what, if my floor got paid for everything I dropped on it, it would be rich. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to take one of those cucumbers from today. Get all those sliced up. Not all of them. <laughs> Believe me, there's a lot of them. Take these two smaller pieces. I know this part is boring, right? <laughs> then whatever we don't eat of the salad tonight, I'll put into a gallon baggie. That's how I used to do my salads, actually. I'd put what was left in a gallon baggie, and then I could go back and have it whenever I wanted to and just, you know, fish them out. Then I'm going to add my last tomato. Tom did take my other tomatoes to work yesterday. He goes, I thought you were giving me tomato slicers. And I'm like, yeah, no, but that's okay. <laughs> he scammed on the, potato, the tomatoes. So we're thinking about going up to that food auction tomorrow. And because I really do need green beans... Because I want to can some for us and I want to can some for Courtney's mom. Because I really do like home canned green beans a lot better. And they don't have, I don't add salt or anything to them, so that's a good thing too. And then Tom really liked it when I did it yesterday. I'm going to add some of those peppers to it. He thought that was really good. So, he's the dude, we'll add some. <laughs> Gotta keep him happy once in a while, right? <laughs> and then I'm gonna add some cheese to it. And honestly, if we don't eat it all tonight, which we won't, I'll probably have a salad for breakfast. <clears throat> so I'm going to mix all that together. And as soon as the um, cabbage is done, I'll pull it out and we'll go to the next step. Alright, so this is what it looks like now, fresh out of the oven. And I want to show you guys, everybody kept suggesting this, so I did buy some off of Amazon. I haven't used it yet because I still have another lemon in the freezer or refrigerator. But I will try it. So, all of my uh, marinara is in the basement that I bought the other day. So, I'm going to use mushroom prego for now. Use what you got. And then you're going to put it on your cabbage just like you would a pizza. I really hope this is good because I just talked to Renee's husband today and He's having a little trouble with his diabetes, too, and he said bread really spikes it. So if you can figure out a way to have pizza without... That had a little bit too much sauce on it. <laughs> without the um, different kind of gluten things, I guess, it'd probably be a lot better. And the guy called back about that. Um, food auction 
and it's meant more for like stores and stuff because they sell big amounts at one time. The green beans wouldn't be so bad, but I don't need 25 heads of <laughs> cauliflower or 40 heads of um, broccoli, so we probably won't do that tomorrow. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to just put some cheese on there, mozzarella, you can use whatever you want. If you don't want to put cheese on, you don't have to. I just got the rest of the cucumbers all washed up. I might can some, um, can them, can them. So now I'm going to put pepperoni on mine. You can put anything you want. Because of course it'd be your pizza. I just, I love pizza. But obviously it doesn't love me. <laughs> So we can figure out other ways to do it, you know? Alrighty, let's get the rest of this pepperoni on there. We gotta decorate it good so Tom doesn't taste all the cabbage. <laughs> Might surprise him. I know the cabbage actually kind of gives him a belly ache, so that's one reason he doesn't like it. And I'm going to put mushrooms on there because mushrooms in my world belong on pizza. Maybe not in everybody else's world, but in mine it does. These are my home canned mushrooms. Not re-canned, but the ones I actually cut up and canned myself. Look at that. No point in wasting them, so might as well put a lot of mushrooms on there, right? <laughs> That's such a heartbreak. <laughs> so kidding. And then I'm going to use some of the peppers, too. I had Tom bring me up another one yesterday to this morning, so I can use it up if I want to. I can't believe I got that gallon last week for $5.40 so I can recan it. That will be awesome. Because usually I'll get them at um, Gordon's. And it's a lot more than that. <laughs> Look at that. Just about gone. Alrighty. And then I'm going to put some more cheese over top of that. Now, normally, you know, I'd put my Italian seasoning on top, but because it has it in that mixture, I'm not going to do that. Honestly, unless you knew that there was cabbage underneath there, I think it looks pretty dang good. What do you think? Isn't it pretty? All right, so now we're going to put that in the oven until everything is warmed up and everything is melted, all that good stuff, and then I'll be back. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this looks good enough to eat. Look at this. Oh, that looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. Tom should be home in just a few minutes, and we're going to try this cabbage steak pizza. Well, hi, Tom. Hello. How are you? Okie dokie. All right. So there's his cabbage steak pizza and some watermelon and his salad. So give it a try. I think it's actually pretty good. Not bad. Even though it's cabbage? Even though it's cabbage. I think it's really good. Jack don't like the cabbage part, do you? But he don't like cabbage, so. I'm not a big cabbage fan either, but I really think as long as you keep the toppings on it, I don't even really think you taste the cabbage, do you? 
Would you want it Unless again? You get one of them banana peppers in there. I know. <laughs> I decorated it up so that you wouldn't taste much cabbage. But it's healthier than a pizza crust. Mm hmm. So, would you want me to do it again? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> So do, would you be willing for me to make other things from cabbage? Probably not. No, I don't care. You would try, at least try it? I'll try it. Okay. All right. So there you go. A cabbage hater, and he likes it. So that's a good thing. So give it a try. I think it's awesome. So you guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing, and bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Bye, Jack. Bye. You guys have a wonderful night.